What's going on, guys? Me, so in the past, I've done a lot of QB comparisons, right? I've taken Brady, I've taken Mahomes, I've taken Rodgers, seen all these guys, throw them into weird little mixes, see how they do. I even did a LeBron to Tom Brady comparison, which, you know, if you haven't watched that video, check it out. It's on my channel. But today, I want to compare two organizations, all right? I'm going to state these two organizations. I think you'll be able to figure out what I'm talking about. Now, that or you're going to be able to just read the title and you'll know. But basically, we have one organization, okay? I don't want to be too descriptive, but the cheese heads, as some like to call themselves, who support this organization. So there's one type of organization, right? Who, what they do, we're going to call them the organization left. Basically, what they like to do is they say, you know what? We can't take any chances. We're going to have to sit here and we don't, we don't want to suck. So we're not going to sit here and mortgage our future. We're going to play our cards right. We're going to be really systematic. And we're going to make sure that we're always relevant. Okay? That's one organization. The other one is saying, hey, man, let's just get out there and let's just win now, man. If we're going to get a quarterback that's 50 years old or 60 years old who can still sling the ball around and make really good plays to help us win a Super Bowl ring, let's just supply him and just see what we can do for him now. And then we'll worry about the future when it rolls around. Two organizations. The Packers and the Buccaneers. <laughs> that's, that's the organizations. But... You know, the problem is with the first type of thing, the second type of thinking, right? Yes. If you got if you get a guy like Tom Brady and you're the Buccaneers, go for it. Stack him. Give him everything he has or everything you have. Throw the weapons, throw the line, everything, bring everybody back, run that stuff, and make sure you're able to keep him upright and win a few more rings when he's still around. Right. Right. All right. Now let's move on to the Packers. Looking at these dudes, yes, you could do that where you're just being really, like, organized. You want to just keep going. But when you get a guy like Rodgers or Brett Favre and you don't really help them reach their full potential, a.k.a. not giving them a top 10 defense every year, things start going out of place. Now, Tom Brady's a great player, but in the Patriots, he had a top 10 defense most of his times when he was playing there. Top 20 because, of course, Belichick's a defensive machine last year Todd Bowles defense was top notch with Shaquille Barrett and Amaru Su, Vita Vea, Shaquille uh, Levante David, JPP I can't even stop it there's so many people the guys in the back the Murphy Bunting and all those corners those guys are amazing but the problem is with the Packers they, do, they never really like do anything for Aaron Rodgers man they're just out here messing around but Aaron Rodgers isn't so nice either. He never takes a pay cut. He always demands to be paid the most. Whereas Tom Brady, he takes a pay cut. So you can actually bring back more guys. Now, that's why I think Tom Brady's a way better player than Aaron Rodgers. But hey, if Aaron Rodgers wants to, he can go host Jeopardy, right? I mean, if he can't bring rings here, he's got to go try some other sport. Because when you have Tom Brady that you're playing against, it's not that easy to win rings. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Stay tuned. All right.